India's Finance Minister P. Chidambaram has announced a package of indirect tax cuts as part of an interim budget until Congress government's term ends in May. And with the general elections looming, he's also been doling out some other goodies to other segments of the population, things like loans to students. But Chidambaram has also vowed that he will keep the fiscal deficit under control. Nadia Mujawa has more. When Finance Minister P. Chidambaram rose to present the interim budget, very few expected it to be anything more than a populist one. On the economic front, the minister announced that the country's growth and expenditure were being brought on track. The fiscal deficit for 2013-14 will be contained at 4.6% of GDP, well below the red line that I had drawn last year. Growth in Q2 of 2013-14 has been placed at 4.8% and growth for the whole year has been estimated at 4.9%. This means that growth in Q3 and Q4 of 2013-14 will be at least 5.2%. I can confidently assert that the economy is more stable today than what it was two years ago. Still, Mr. Chidambaram outlined a number of measures intended to revive the economy. Most welcome was a reduction of excise duty on automobiles and capital goods, sectors that have been bleeding due to the slowing economic growth. He also announced measures to boost manufacturing output. The reduction in excise duty on a few items, I think, is very welcome because those sectors have been doing poorly. So I think, over, all in all, I think it's a very welcome agenda. With just two months left to the general elections, the finance minister also sent out positive signals to the most important segments of the society, including defence forces, students, and women. He also pushed the ruling Congress party's agenda, highlighting the government's achievements in past one decade and presented a vision for the country's future. Madhiha Mujawar, Channel News Asia, Mumbai.